Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Mother about to wash her sleepy child. Mary Cassatt's painting, Mother about to wash her sleepy child, dwells in motherhood. Its careful composition combines with a smudgy impressionist technique. This painting captures a moment of messy mothering. A child's face tells the story. In fact, we don't even see the mother's face. She seems lost in the toddler's expression. Cassatt directs our attention to how the child feels. The mother's priority thus becomes the viewer's focus. Moments like this mark motherhood transitions. Getting a toddler's bath in before bedtime can be a challenge. But it's also sweet and cuddly in this painting. There's trust in the child's face, combined with resistance in their awkward position. Cassatt's cold blue paint traces frame those squirming legs, while coral smudges color and highlight sweet vulnerability in the child's face. Sometimes cranky can be cute, especially when it's your kid. These are classic toddler traits after all. It's natural. Growing up means lots of combos and transitions like this. This piece marks a transition point for Cassatt's career, too. At this time, Impressionist influences were at their peak in her work. She was a friend and student of the eminent Degas, and it showed. For instance, Impressionists obsessed over the color white. Her brilliant use of it here creates movement, light, and a profound evocation of feeling. But this painting began more than a series of mother and child themed works. After this, her work transitioned to a more solid and less impressionist portrayal. Japanese print influence. A quick glance at mother about to wash her sleepy child reminds viewers of Impressionism. Emotions flow from this image. The blurred edges and keen white telegraph this as well. Many Impressionists also worked with intimate daily life subject matter. But the piece's framing composition points to yet another influence. Cassatt cropped the scene on both sides. This was a favorite technique of Degas. He'd borrowed the practice from Japanese prints. This framing device also tilts the entire scene up a bit, so the snug story of mother and child compresses into a narrowed foreground. Mary Cassatt then intensifies this verticality with upholstery and wallpaper stripes. Mother about to wash her sleepy child also shows Cassatt's mastery in surface design. She balances the painting's tone with careful patterning and brushstroke methods. This gives the masterpiece its comfortable effect. We know they're at home, not only because it's bath time before bed. The setting resonates with a cozy vibe. These are key qualities from Japanese prints from that time. 1880. They were cohesive with consistent patterns that served to balance the piece's overall tone. Cassatt's art had these qualities early on, but most in art history don't point to Japanese prints as an influence until her later work. Looking at her early paintings, they tend to focus on Cassatt's lovely impressionist figures. Her ensuing pieces grew more solid. She left Impressionism behind in many ways as years passed. The Japanese print influence 
remained in her wheelhouse, though. Cassatt continued to use it with reverent mastery. Mother About to Wash Her Sleepy Child by Mary Cassatt. Now, isn't it funny that a spinster with no children is probably our most beloved painter of mother and child theme paintings? Mary Cassatt had more than half of her paintings on this theme. This is considered to be the first on that theme, and it's quite an extraordinary painting. It has that smudgy indistinctness of messy motherhood and the experience of raising a child. It's got a glimmer to it too, a trust. You look at that child's face and it seems like it's about to fall asleep, but it also, you can feel the love that the child has, the incredible trust and bond. Now, Cassatt was quite influenced by the Impressionists and you can see that here, this hardly realistic. What's real here is the bond between mother and child. Mother About to Wash Her Sleepy Child, FAQs. Where can I see Cassatt's painting, Mother About to Wash Her Sleepy Child, in person? The painting lives in the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, LACMA. It's in their collection, but it's not on public view in person. The largest museum in the American West, LACMA is currently under demolition. Though now reduced to piles of rubble, the brand new version of this beloved museum is set to open in late 2023. Why is Mother About to Wash Her Sleepy Child an important painting? Mary Cassatt was an exceptional painter. This masterpiece helps us see some of the reasons why. Degas handpicked Cassatt to join his Parisian set of Impressionists. She was one of three women and the only American in the group. Like Degas, she loved and collected Japanese prints. This influence shows in the composition of Mother About to Wash Her Sleepy Child. The painting's an iconic example of Impressionism at its most tender and personal. Why did the unmarried and childless Cassatt paint on the mother and child theme? The common art history theory for Cassatt's mother and child paintings may be wrong. Mother about to wash her sleepy child has the date 1880 under her signature. It's often cited as her first painting on the subject mother and child. Cassatt biographer Achille Segard said it showed at the Paris 5th Impressionist Exhibition. That was in April of 1880. Art historians often say Cassatt's time with nieces and nephews inspired this series. She saw them during her brother Alexander's visit to her home in Paris. But he came to see her in France over the summer of 1880. So both claims can't be true. Either she started painting on this theme before her brother's visit, or her biographer, an expert on Cassatt, Segard, was wrong about the exhibition. Was Mary Cassatt an American or French painter? The American Cassatt painted her best and most famous works in France, so her life as a painter was mostly French. But the woman was a true American, and that shines through her work. For one thing, it set her apart among elite French Impressionists. She joined their group along with Degas, Pissarro, and Courbet. Cassatt held her own among them. She's known to this day for her fresh takes on familiar subjects. Void of sentimentality, Mary Cassatt's paintings feel tender and true blue. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K-Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K-Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks.
visit ladykflow.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.